Hi everyone, it's Randy with Middle Age Earth, and today we are going to go on a fun adventure together. We are going to go see some dinosaurs. There is a fantastic exhibit. It's a traveling exhibit that goes from city to city, and it's called Discover the Dinosaurs. And within this exhibit, there's just all kinds of stuff to do. It's a very family-oriented uh, event, specially designed for kids of all ages, uh, with from dinosaurs to different things for them to do. I went there and uh, discovered it as well. I thought it was just a really, really fun experience and thought I would share that with you today. So the exhibit consists of basically two core areas. The first area is the eight to 10 realistic scenes of about 40 plus dinosaurs. And so in each scene, there's realistic terrain around it and lighting and sound effects, really, really cool stuff. Also, each type of dinosaur has a little signage below which tells you what type of dinosaur it is, its size in relation to a, you know, a human, uh, some history about the dinosaur. So really a lot of fun educational stuff. The second part of the area was uh, basically the fun stuff uh, zone, you might call it. This is where all of the activities are for the family to do. So one, one thing was a cute little dino dig where there were these different uh, boxes was filled with sand and kids could get brushes and brush away the sand it would reveal fossils underneath so that was really cute there's also the dino theater where uh, you could go in and watch an educational piece on a huge t-rex size screen that was a lot of fun lots of people in there watching that uh, also something called the dino den where the youngest children could go in a safe environment uh, and interact with like 10 plus whimsical dinosaurs and that was really cute Kids were hugging them and playing with them, and so that was that was a lot of fun. In the beginning, also, kids can get a scavenger hunt sheet, and there's all kinds of different little questions that uh, they can scavenger hunt. All the answers are throughout uh, the entire uh, exhibit, and then at the end, once uh, the child has completed the scavenger hunt, they can go spin this wheel and win a prize. So, so that was cute and something, again, interactive for the kids to do, uh, and many kids I saw with their little scavenger sheets running all over trying to find that, so that was really fun to see. Also this gem and fossil panning event. Families and kids were going into this area uh, and panning water to reveal uh, fossils and stuff. So that was really, really cute and fun to watch. There's also um, this T-Rex and Triceratops that kids could ride. They were uh, little rides that they could get on and saddled up on top of the T-Rex and ride around a little bit. Really cute. Long line for that. Lots of people wanted to go on that. So that was really cute to see. Then there was a mini, miniature golf, a little miniature golf area with little dinosaur heads. And so many kids were, were doing that and having a great time. Also face painting, uh, some great artists drawing some really, really neat face painting on the kids of, of different dinosaur type effects. There was also a dinosaur coloring book station where you could just kind of take a break, get off your feet and sit down and, and do some drawing. And lots of people were doing that. And there were inflatables, inflatables, inflatables. There were so many inflatables. There were kids bouncing all over the place. So from small ones to big ones. So depending upon the uh, age of your child, uh, there was an inflatable uh, for them there to be found. So there are so many events you can do as a family in your local area, but was this event worth it? Well, from my perspective and from what I saw and all the families having a great time, it seemed to me to be very well worth it. Uh, certainly there's a cost to going and similar to like uh, going into a county fair and you have to pay for rides separately when you go in there were some events in this uh, that you did have to pay extra for such as riding the t-rex or the triceratops or the uh, fossil panning thing um, the miniature golf uh, the face painting so there were extra things that you, know, you could pay a little extra uh, to do and that didn't seem to stop uh, most families from doing it from everything i saw from all the different families, everybody was having a, a great time. So if I had children that age, I would certainly not hesitate uh, to take them. So you can visit discoverthedinosaurs.com and look to find out what their calendar is. They're in different uh, cities all the time, so check it out. The one piece of advice I could uh, offer you is to uh, purchase your tickets online. Uh, get your e-ticket and that way when you get there, you already have your tickets and you can walk right in. So that's it. That is the Discover the Dinosaur experience from my perspective. 
I hope you enjoyed watching the video, and if you did, give it a thumbs up. I hope uh, especially that it gave you um, a better insight of what the exhibit it is and uh, how you may or uh, enjoy going to it and what it is that you're gonna be spending your money on, especially if you're the parent, uh, because those things are obviously important to us as we make decisions on what we wanna do as a family. Things do have a cost, and so we want to see and make sure we're getting our money's worth. Uh, I personally really uh, think that you would be uh, from everything I witnessed, families, like I said, were having just a great time and it seemed like really money well spent. So, hope it is for you if you do uh, decide to go. Uh, so, thanks for watching. Have a great day and we will see you next time. Goodbye.